Well, that high wind warning could cause problems for travelers at the airport and out on the roads. And they could also be a big problem even if you're staying home for Thanksgiving. Tonight at 6 o'clock, our own Rich Van Wyk has more now on what the power companies are doing to make sure that you're not in the dark. There's no other way to look at it. The weather radar images are absolutely ugly. There's snow, rain, wind, lightning, all moving across the country. Denver's already taken a punch. You can see the snow on the ground there. We've seen canceled flights in and out of there earlier today. The biggest threat for central Indiana is the rain, and even more important than that are gusting winds, gusts of up to 60 miles an hour. Utilities are preparing for this weather, the possibility of trees and limbs coming down and taking power lines with them. Duke Energy, the state's biggest power supplier, is lining up extra tree trimmers, repair crews, and call center workers. You should be preparing as well. Tonight, tonight, dig out the flashlights and batteries. It's a lot easier when the lights are on. Charge up those cell phones. If someone has special needs, think of having an alternative place for them to stay if the power goes out. If you are hosting Thanksgiving dinner, have a plan B location. At Meyer today, we found families buying up everything they will need for dinner. Lori Runyon's, her cart overflowed with food. She doesn't even want to think about Thanksgiving without electricity. It's happened before, so it's happened before and you do survive, believe it or not. So if you're flying, driving, or just staying at home, you need to keep an eye on the weather, be cautious, be safe.